Mixed picks, week four, NFL. Mick, do you know that we are 15-5 and five so far through three weeks of this that's, NFL season? That's pretty good if you weren't dragging us down so hard. All right. Okay. All right. So that's it. Get to it. This is the week I overtake you. We'll what see. do you got we'll going see about on? that. First game, I got Jacksonville giving three points to Atlanta. I got Jacksonville winning with the points. Jacksonville screwed me last week. I hope they screw you this week. I need to catch back up. I love Miami getting two and a half points after dropping a 70 burger on the uh, the, the bet. That's your the first Broncos. game. Your first game is you're first taking game. an underdog, huh? My first game, I'm taking the Miami Dogs against the Buffalo Bills. Who well, you got? You know what? That's my underdog of the week, buddy. I got Miami as well. Miami. Yeah. My, how, do you, how can you bet against somebody who just dropped a 70 burger on Sean Payton? I know. I hope they don't uh, get too, you know, get too high on their own supply. Don't mm -hmm. get too get too big headed. I think uh, that's a great team. It's a fun team to watch too. So I got I got Miami beating the Bills. If you don't believe the Chiefs, this could be a preview of the AFC Championship game. My next pick, I got Minnesota giving four and a half to Carolina. I think Minnesota is the best winless team. I think they're due. I got Minnesota. That's a good week to get healthy against the bad Carolina team. I'm going with another dog. Two dogs for your boy. Mm. Two dogs for your boy. Wow. I'm going Baltimore getting one and a half against them Cleveland Browns. No Nick Chubb. They pulled it out last week. Deshaun Watson's still not playing great, but they do have a solid defense. I like Baltimore getting one and a half because I think this is a pick'em game. It's a good price. I got a big one for you. Mm. I got... Kansas City giving nine points to the Jets. I got Kansas City coming out on top. Not only do you have it, but I have you it also. It as well? I think nine points. I can't believe that number is so low. Maybe the bookies know something that we don't. Maybe Vegas knows something that we don't. But there is no world, no world in which Zach Wilson is only nine points worse yeah. than Patrick Mahomes. Yes. I'm running to that to that spread. Yeah, that's a good and one. I don't run from anything. No, you hate cardio. I hate like a cardio. lot. Yeah. Like too much. Like Which is crazy because I'm taking another nine point favorite, Philadelphia over Washington you, 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 in you, Philadelphia. You, you speed walk into it? I'm speed walking very Briskly. quickly and and out of breathly walking to the Philadelphia E A G L E S Eagles over the Washington soon to be Redskins. Nine points at home. Division games in the NFC East are normally tough, but I just think this Eagles team is so much better than this Redskins team. And yeah, no, they're not I, the I agree with you. And I got uh, my last game is I got Cincinnati giving 2.5 to Tennessee. I think they're due as well. Mm. I think they're due. I think Cincinnati's better than they have led on this year. I think Burrow and Chase going to get right and, uh, you know, they're going to get running. There's some there's some people that have Unlike a theory. <laughs> there's some people that have the theory that the first 4 weeks in the NFL season are the new preseason. So this might be like the last week of preseason in old football. And it's been is, a weird season. Well, it's been it's been really weird. Yeah. The, the first right? three, the Football's way that, wild. the way that they're doing the uh, preseason, the first 3 weeks are kind of like a, uh, you know, learn on the job type of situation. And if that happens, you might be right. This might be the time that Burrow and these guys get on get on schedule with each other. My last game of the week. This is the game that Daniel Jones proves to the world that he is not the problem in New York. Because the real problem is that they can't block or tackle anybody. This is the worst fundamentals team I've seen. The Giants what happened to us? This is we're supposed smoked. to be right here. They're going to get smoked by Seattle. One and a half points, that's it? Who, 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 which one of their rookie cornerbacks is going to cover DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett? Which one of their no-tackling linebackers is going to bring bring down that Seattle running game? Who is going to stop the Seattle defense in that porous offensive line? One and a half points is a joke. Run the Seattle, getting those points. And now that I've said that, of course, the Giants will win by three. If you like this, check out all of Mix Picks every Saturday, 2 p.m., gasdigital.com on Slick and Thick. You get all the NFL picks and all the UFC picks. Mix Picks every Saturday on Slick and Thick Show, 2 p.m., gasdigital.com. Bye, guys. Love you. Big kiss. That's my sign-off. I like that sign-off. It's a good sign-off. Thanks.